Today we are having a look at census access file conversion. So this is a new accessibility software um, available to all members of the UCD community who have a UCD email address. It's housed on the UCD Access and Lifelong Learning webpage under UCD Students Support Census Access File Conversion. So first and foremost, what is Census Access? So Census Access is a file conversion form. And what that basically means is you can upload documents, uh, PDFs, uh, pictures to Census Access and get them emailed back to your UCD email address in the file format that best suits you. So maybe you're someone who prefers to list them back to your notes, you can turn them into an MP3. Uh, maybe you use Daisy audiobooks, no problem, it converts to that. Uh, maybe you are a Braille reader. Again, Census Access can, pre can prepare documents in a Braille format. There's loads of possibilities with Census Access. It's all about uh, customizing your uh, learning materials to the format that best suits you. So you'll see on our first page, we just give you a wee run through Census Access and just explain the importance of making sure that you actually have permission to convert the files. So Census Access is intended for academic purposes. Um, and with that, it's just important to make sure that you actually have copyright permissions to use the, the, uh, the, the files that you wish to convert. Um, so we talk you through that. And then it's just a matter of going to the actual Census Access web form. So it's a five step process. You'll see we've got our conditions for use here, which just sort of explains that it, again, it's intended for academic purposes. Census Access is GDPR compliant. It is a secure server um, that converts your files. Uh, none of your files are then stored and your email address is also deleted once the files have been returned to you. So looking at the web form, you'll see Census Access actually supports um, a wide variety of languages. So if you have maybe taken a picture from a French textbook, that's no problem. Census Access can still turn it into a French MP3 format. Um, really good if you're wanting to practice your language pronunciation. You've then got three different ways of uploading material to Census Access. So you can select a file from your computer. You can insert a URL. So maybe if you have um, something on your Google Drive or your OneDrive that you want to convert, or you can copy and paste text into Census Access as well. So for the purposes of this uh, demonstration, I'm going to pick a file, um, a PDF journal article just off my, uh, my laptop here. When you upload your file, you're then given options for your output format. For this video, I'm going to go with an MP3, but you'll see you also have options for Braille, for an ebook, which is a really good option if you require larger print texts or if you're supporting someone who requires that. You can convert your documents into either an EPUB or a MOBI, uh, which is the Kindle specific file. And then on your actual Kindle or your preferred reading device, you can then adjust the font size and the text to the best that suits you. You've then got accessibility conversion, which is a bit of a weird name, but in here is where you have all your different file types. So maybe you would prefer to have a PDF as a Word document to make it easier to customize the font or to change the background color. Um, maybe you uh, or using a screen reader and you want something in HTML or an RTF format. Um, loads of different options in here. Maybe you've received a PDF file and it's not working with your text to speech software. Chances are that it's not OCR scanned, which basically means that the PDF is reading as an image rather than as text. So you can convert it to PDF text over image, which should sort, sort that problem out for you. But what I'm going to do here is I will select MP3 audio. And it then gives me various options. So you see, I have to select my language. And now keep in mind that although Census Access does recognize different languages, it doesn't translate text. So if you want to listen back to a French text, it has to already be written in French. Um, with English, you have different options in terms of 
um, whether you want a male voice or a female voice, and you've got British English, American English. So kind of the same as with your word processor. You can then choose your speed as well. So you might want the pronunciation to be slowed, slowed down a wee bit, or equally, maybe you want to listen to it at a bit of a higher pace. So you've got a drop down option there. So the last step then is to enter your email address. As I said, this does require a UCD email address. So just keep that in mind. And then you submit your file for conversion. Now, this can take anything from a minute to an hour. It really depends on the, the size of the file that you're uploading and then also what you're asking it to do. So the likes of Daisy audiobooks and um, EPUBs will take a wee bit longer. If you haven't got your, your uh, files back, it's a good idea just to check in your spam folder and just make sure it's not there. Um, on our website, you'll see that we do have some guides to making the most out of census access. So some handy tips and tricks um, to make the file conversion process a little bit easier. Uh, we've also got other video tutorials and guides to just accessible, accessible document design um, in general. Other than that, happy converting. Any questions, please do pop us an email on disability at ucd.ie and we'll be happy to take you through using census access.